Hello, I'm Hiro Ikura. I'm working at the Advanced Science Research Center of Japan, Atomic Energy Agency, located in Japan. Now I will give you a short explanation of my three-dimensional nuclear chart. Please enjoy. All the materials found on the Earth are made of atoms. Each atom is composed of electrons and the nucleus. A nucleus is made of much smaller particles called nucleons. And there are two types of nucleon, proton and neutron. This three-dimensional nuclear chart represents all properties of various nuclei as shown here. Each block corresponds to a specific nucleus. This axis represents a number of protons. The number of protons is exactly the same as atomic number because protons give all the positive charge of a nucleus. Lighter elements like hydrogen and helium are located in the region of smaller number of protons, and heavier elements as gold, lead, uranium are in the larger proton region. This axis corresponds to the number of neutrons. Nuclei with the same atomic number can have different, different numbers of neutrons. Different kinds of atoms of the same element are called nuclides or isotopes. And the height of each block indicates atomic mass per nucleon. In the world of atomic nuclei, the mass itself is a total energy. That means that the mass governs the nuclear system as nuclear decays and nuclear reactions. In the chart, there are nuclei with larger mass value as a higher block located in a lighter region. These two or three nuclei can join together, fuse. This is nuclear fusion. On the other hand, there are also nuclei with larger mass in the heavier region. These nuclei can split into two smaller nuclei. This is nuclear fission. Both reactions bring nuclei to the direction of the lowest basin in the chart. The nucleus of the center of the basin is ion 56. So, ion 56 is the tightest isotope as an atom. This chart is made by various colors by toy blocks. The blue color represents a stable nuclei, which exist all around the world. Unstable nuclei are assigned by the color other colors. The brown colored nuclei are unknown and theoretically predicted nuclei. The solar system abundance of the isotopes are also constructed. These isotopes are created in the history of the universe. The most abundant isotope is hydrogen-1, because it has existed in the early universe. There are dominantly abundant isotopes near ion-56, because these have the lowest atomic mass as shown in the mass chart, and give a termination of the fusion reaction in star. Beyond ion-56, Isotopes still exist like silver and gold. These are created through a non-equilibrium process, the slow neutron capture process. This process makes heavier isotopes up to lead and bismuth. The isolated isotopes like thorium and uranium exist. These are only created through another process called the rapid neutron capture process which is considered to occur in the supernova explosion in the final stage of a massive star. The origin of elements can be explained by using this chart. Thank you.